Mara here, your trusty LearnPad Implementation Specialist. In this tutorial, we will take a tour of the most important terms and features that you will find when using the LearnPad Management Portal. Remember, the portal is completely cloud-based, so it's accessible on any internet-capable device. In order to access the portal, you'll need to create an account using your email invitation. If you have not received one, please contact your administrator. Once you have created your account, simply point your browser to http colon slash slash learnpad dot us. If your account is already activated, you can visit your management portal now if you would like. Simply pause this video to explore your own management portal as we go along. Let's first take a look at why the management portal is the central piece of the LearnPad solution. The portal is used for content and device management. It is where teachers can design lessons so only the content needed to meet the lesson's learning objective is available to the students. The management portal is also where IT departments gather important device information, push out LearnPad software updates, and so much more. To begin our tour, let's take a look at the tabs across the top of the portal. The Home tab allows you to return to the main portal page where you can quickly access your LearnPad shortcuts. Next to the Home tab is the Store. The Store is where you'll find 200 pre-made kindergarten through 8th grade lessons that are aligned to state standards. You'll also find over 1,000 educational apps that have been vetted by our content team as having excellent educational value. Once your students have the pre-approved content on their devices, you can use the Dashboard tab to monitor students' device activity. Within the Dashboard tab, there are three key features to note. The first is Class Connect. Using Class Connect, you'll be able to do things like pause student devices, mute devices, and send individual or group messages. All of these Class Connect features are included in the initial cost of your LearnPads. With Class Connect, you can also push lessons to devices without using a QR key. This is great for discreetly differentiating instruction by sending individualized content to students with special needs without anyone else knowing. Class View is another important feature available within the dashboard. Class View is an optional premium feature which allows for more visibility of device activity. This camera icon will allow you to take screenshots of device activity, which can then be stored for later use. The video camera icon turns on live streaming, so you can see exactly what your students are doing at all times. The screen icon puts a single device into presentation mode, which allows you to showcase individual devices on a large screen. Presentation mode allows you to display individual device screens on an interactive whiteboard and take control of the device. This folder icon shows a directory of the files within the device. You can put files in or take files off the device here. The third big feature within the Dashboard tab that we'll cover is Class Cloud. Class Cloud gives you the ability to hand out single documents to individual students or groups of students. Once they have the document, they can complete the assignment and turn in the file using the Hand In option within the application they are using. Just like the Home tab, the Manage tab brings you back to the Home screen. Now let's take a look at the three important features within the Home or Manage tab. You can find these features under the Content heading on the left side of your screen. First, let's take a look at Lessons. A lesson is the collection of content the teacher has put together broken down into subtopics. Students will have access to one lesson on their device at a time. Many times a lesson is a topic. For example, a lesson may be on the topic of Australia. The second important term is categories. Categories can be thought of as subtopics or subfolders within a lesson. If we continue with our Australia lesson, the subtopics or categories here are geography, places videos, animals, and ending activity. It's important to note that you can have up to six categories in one lesson. The last important term is resources. Resources are the actual activities you approve for your students within a lesson. There are three main types of resources. Website resources are links to specific websites designated by the teacher. This keeps students safe, secure, and focused while online. File resources are used when a teacher wants to hand out a file to students to have on their tablet. Instead of waiting in line to make copies, you can make sure that your students have a digital copy on their LearnPad. Files can include anything from PowerPoint presentations to PDFs to Word documents 
to pictures and even videos. The last type of resource we'll cover today is an app. Teachers can make available only those apps that are applicable to the learning objectives for the lesson. Anytime you would like to review any of the features covered in this tutorial and many others, click on the support tab. The support tab takes you to our knowledge base where you can access helpful support tutorial videos and step-by-step -step articles. That completes this tutorial about the important terms and features when using the LearnPad management portal. For more information, be sure to check out the support tab at the top of the portal.